We're back on home turf. We're gonna get some savers in today. It's half off. It's always a strange thing going on a road trip and coming back. There's always a mixed feeling, a mixed bag of feelings, I guess. Happy to be home, happy to go to some familiar thrift stores, but now the adventure's kind of over, at least the, you know, the road adventure. But I am excited for savers, because we always find good toys, so stick around. back at Savers and I'm really excited to be here. I'm chilling in the dish section because, you know, that's what I do. But, um, I'm over in the plastics trying to look for some Tupperware. Spotted this little number. Like how perfectly 90s is this? This is really cute. Um, I don't really think it's all that valuable, but to me, like, this brings back some memories. We had a ton of these type of thermos mugs at our house whenever I was growing up, and we always drank hot chocolate out of them in the winters, and, um, yes, that's an absurd amount of hot chocolate, but it was delicious, and I don't regret it. This is, like, once in a lifetime, <laughs> and it's only because we're here early. Wow! We're here very early. And I've never left a Savers with this many Pokemon cards. This is crazy. Oh, I think there's more. No, something else. This is awesome. Super awesome. My white whale. White Levi's. Yay! I cannot get enough of these. You're coming home with me. Thank you. I'm gonna check the rest of the men's section. There's a ton of Levi's in here, but a lot of times Savers marks them up a bit. So um, we're gonna try to find some cheap ones. Maybe we'll have some success. I grabbed all the pair that were under four dollars. So this is a pretty good haul. I filmed three pairs, so pretty happy with that. I just really need to restock. I've gone through my stash of all my light wash and black denim, so I really need some of that. And you know, I'm always looking for white, so finding that white pair of Levi's is fantastic. Oh yes, we'll take, we'll take. There's a lot here to look at today. Some duckies. Oh, baby. Furby. Yes, please. So I found a world market dream. I love it, don't get me wrong. But it's not the most practical thing in the world. This like macrame-ish tassel tapestry? I'm guessing it's a tapestry because it would not be useful as a rug at all. So it's really cute, I like the textures. It is like 100% something you'd see in anthropology or in a uh, world market. It is half off $60 today, which honestly is a bargain, but um, we won't be getting it because I don't need that in my house and displaying that in my booth would be really difficult, but it's really cool. I like it. Honestly, this is just kind of nuts. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get that, but that's fun. Those are a lot of fun. Double Beyblade, but those are not Beyblade. I resell, but they are ones I collect and I have all of them. So, Skipsy's on that. 
I saw this, I was like, well, that's gonna be a bummer because there's not gonna be a hat. There's totally a hat. That's nuts. It's just crazy. This is up front attached to a register and I'm pretty tempted by some of it. I mean, you know, I'm gonna spend a dollar fifty for two resale value wise for my antique wall. It's not really great. But this, all three of these for five bucks, sounds kind of good. Still don't know if I want to mess with it, but kind of cool to see. I love me some Hot Wheels. Are you out here killing it as much as I am? Um, I found some good things. What'd you find? <laughs> Jeez. Hello Pokemon cards, mm. Woody with his hat, wow. Zelda Ocarina of Time for Nintendo 64. Today's just crazy. Goodness. <laughs> That's we guys. That's good. It's not bad. And look at these. I'm trying to look and see what they are. Those are Daredevil boots. They are? Okay, because they say <laughs> costume on them. Do they? Well, yeah. that's probably, I mean, they look like costume boots to me for sure. Yeah, I was like, their Costume National is the brand. And so I was like, what are this? <laughs> it's a red pair of boots for any red superhero, I guess. It's pretty sweet. I, like I wasn't being serious when I said Daredevil. It's just coincidence, but I guess that is what they are. But you're kind of right. Yeah. <laughs> I love favors! I love it! It's almost like someone planted all this here for me. It's like someone knew I was coming. This Woody find was really great. I'm just gonna go ahead and open them. We're gonna talk about them. Uh, it's very difficult, as you might know, to find Woody with his hat. Just about any, any versions of Woody. Uh, the only versions of Woody where the hat's permanently attached are some of those slightly taller, not taller than this, but taller than nothing. You know, about half the size Woody's for McDonald's. Those often have their hat glued on. Uh, and maybe it's because it's like baked into the film that Woody's more valuable with his hat. Maybe that's why people care, but like, I'll sell a Jesse every day of the week at our antique malls without her hat, people don't care. But Woody doesn't have his hat, he sits there for months, so. Um, that's good. That was a really good find. And, uh, I've had this dream to have like a, uh, a, a good Toy Story, if not Pixar shelf at our antique mall, but I can never get enough of it in there at one time because it all sells so quick. That was a good find. Hannah, are all these jeans for color blocking? They are. Very good. I'm going to go ahead and toss them in the car. And I just want to show you all this. I only bought this for one reason. I'm sure you probably already knew, Hannah. <laughs> I love playing what's in the bag that Dallas wants. <laughs> yeah, Dallas buys a bag of nonsense. Why? Oh, its eyeballs are lenticular. Aww. That's cool. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything from this set, so that's good. That'll go home, go on my shelf. Um, with the other Furbus. Yeah, with the other Furbus. Some of the games I got are for me and some are for resale. I already have uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time, so I only, we only paid like 10 Twelve dollars for it, so that'd be a good little flip. Uh, it's got a blockbuster sticker on it and stuff, but I couldn't leave it there. I could also, when I went in there, um, I was waiting in line, kind of patiently, to be helped at the lockbox, and a guy ran up and was like waving down the lady behind the counter, trying to get her help. And she was like, "Hold on a minute, sir," and then she came and helped me because I was there first. And then that guy kind of got mad. And I thought he was looking at jewelry, but it turns out he wanted the games, and he was. I guess maybe a little myth that I got there first, but early bird and worms and all that. Yeah, and all that stuff. I mean, we walked in about as soon as they opened. Uh, and honestly, I, I'm not usually the early bird when it comes. I, I, you guys don't see it all the time, but there's plenty of times on this channel people are walking out with the good stuff before me. But we all we all get our turn at luck, and today I got pretty lucky with Zelda, and I'm very thankful for it. Uh, these Pokemon cards, awesome. Not gonna go through these on the channel. We have a second channel though, Rubber Duck Yellow. Link in the video's description, go subscribe. Uh, I actually shot several videos before we left for this trip for our second channel. And now that we're back, they'll be getting posted. I will definitely make a video out of those. Do you know why I bought this, Hannah? Frozen cards? I'm gonna go or with frozen yo -yo. cards. You're gonna go with frozen cards? Yeah. You'd be wrong. <laughs> uh, you yo-yo connoisseurs out there, don't get mad at me. I know this isn't the greatest yo-yo in the world, but I've just been collecting uh, nostalgia invoking yo-yos. Matter of fact, I brought home a yo-yo from our road trip we just got back from. That is my now favorite yo-yo. Do any of you have a favorite yo-yo? Comment below.
Lifesavers number two. I don't know how we're gonna top that last one, but we're gonna try. So this is the savers that I always start out in the jeans section because they, they have good luck with it. It's pretty, it's pretty solid, but um, today is no exception. Lots of Western ethics jeans that are bold AF. Western ethics is a brand that I like, but it's not super popular. So it can be a little bit of a, a long sell, you know, it's gonna sit for a bit unless somebody just sees it right off the bat whenever I post it and just immediately buys it. But usually that's not the case. Um, so they want you know, like seven-ish dollars for it. I think that's worth it. So we'll go ahead and get these babies. We're looking for toys. I remember this buzz. I believe I had it when I was a kid. I kind of want to get it, but hmm. stickers rubbed off there. I don't know. We'll hold on to it. It's just it's just a Toy Story kind of day. Uh, there's a lot here to look at though. BB-8. There's a Furbus. Old Furbus. It's like everything I ever wanted is at Sabres today. Skylanders. Baymax. <sighs> just so much this is overload i always love checking the boot section in savers they like just have good stuff i don't know what it is about the boot section specifically the shoes not so much those are cute i wish they were like real boots these are very 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 cheap oh these are cute these typically flip down and have like this little tuxedo effect going on on the top Three bucks, it's not bad. I don't, I don't love the shoelace portion of it that much, so I think we're gonna leave them. Nothing we have to have in this section today, but some maybes are always nice to see. Oh yes. Today's going to start and end with Toy Story. All right, already checked the jeans section, got a pair of Levi's for color blocking, so I'm super happy about that. Today's been a pretty good day for light wash jeans. And for white, last, I, can't, I still can't believe I found a pair of white Levi's at the last one. It's so exciting. Anyway, I'm over the dish section now, I'm trying to check out what they got here. That's pretty. Fire King, very nice. Let's see. Oh, I love these cat teapots. I think they're so cute. I don't pick them up very often because like it takes a specific collector to want teapots and then cat teapots on top of that. But she is really sweet. Thanks, man. You want to be on the episode? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Daniel, that's your name, right? Yep. Daniel, you watch the channel? Yep. You found anything good? Uh, I found this part. Oh yeah, some some Nerf dark gun action. Yep. Well, thanks for watching, man. I like that shirt too. Thank you. It rocks. In the glass baking section, always want to find some Pyrex, some corning ware, you know, the nice big pieces. Seeing a lot of the little corning ware pieces, which I'm not gonna pick up today. This is kind of cute. I mean, obviously not vintage at all, but it's cute. Ooh. Made in Indonesia. I love these enamelware bowls. When we start getting on the road full time a little bit more, I think that's gonna be my cooking set. It's gonna be a bunch of enamel bowls. Holy shit. Holy shit. Pardon my French. Gosh, why is it in bad condition? This. This is a Fire King tulip bowl. Oh my gosh. The flowers are in such bad shape. These are supposed to be very vibrant. This is a very rare piece. Oh my gosh, I'm so sad. I mean, two bucks, I'll definitely get it. Just because I've never seen one ever. 
I'm gutted, it's in bad shape. But I'm definitely getting it, I'm really excited. This is a very, very weird feeling. I'm like happy, but really sad at the same time. Like extreme emotions. Ugh. I've already checked the video games and got what I wanted, but look, someone's done, carried off a bunch of them, stashed them. Ugh. Probably just over here checking prices and stuff. Fable 3, Indiana Jones 2, Tony Hawk, Lego Movie. I think I need that one. Okay. And then Transformer. I mean, nothing great, but it's literally most of the good stuff that was over there. Well, it's a dollar fifty. These are all really cheap. T Rexes, man. These are all so cheap, I should probably get them. Behold the horror that is Mario without his hat. I'm so sorry, Mario. I don't know who did this to you. I didn't know you were balding either, but sorry about that. This is awesome. We're, we're having a good day. This is a big haul. It is. <laughs> we're on our way to Savers number three, and there's a huge line outside. Bigger than the last time we were at this Savers. So uh, we'll see you in the store in like 30 minutes. I'm on the hunt for more blankets. I've been selling them on my Depop and they've actually been doing really well. So um, I kind of just want to keep finding more and keep trying them. Last night I sold a quilt for the first time, so that was really cool. Um, I've been doing really well with these like crochet blankets. This one's a little different than something I would pick up, but it is something that I like. So I'm a little on the fence about it. I'm not really sure. A lot of times it's the granny square ones that do really well and the chevron ones are kind of like mm, hit or miss but i've sold a few it's four bucks so it's not a huge risk but i don't know i'm still thinking about it we might get it we'll see there's several interesting things here but i mean nothing i need really got all that super monkey ball for ps2 I might hold on to that. I might see if I've got it. I really don't know if I do or not. Uh, probably just gonna go with Gnaw. Still madly on the hunt for some brat stalls. I found them on the trip. Um, Ivan actually gave them, found them for me. So I've been re-inspired. I really want to find some more. I checked the last two savers and they didn't have anything. Maybe this one will come through for me. I've found them here before. And I'm not feeling optimistic at this point. Dr. Barbie. Hmm. I guess we're striking out today. That's all right. They're not that easy to find. So what did I expect? I don't know if I've ever seen this. I did never really collect BB Babies too much. Here's some clothing to go on BB Baby Kids. Where's the price tag? Uh, not see the price tag. I'll hold on to it. Well, hello, Batman. Vintage Batman. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. White Ranger Ninja. White Ranger Ninja suit. Okay. From the movie. Probably gonna have to get that. I told Dell today I really wanted to go to the Savers because they usually have good jeans. I find something that I've been looking for or like some Levi's that are really cheap. And today is amazing. Two white Levi's in one day. These are vintage. These are beautiful. Very nice. Six bucks. Okay. I usually like to spend like three bucks, but I'll splurge a little bit for the white. That's for sure. Very excited. All right, they've got a couple of other ones here, like um, some some more whitewash and some black here, but nothing that's actually like in that $3 margin, which is where I want to stay for those. But um, the white, that is a fantastic find. Super happy. Well, hello there. Well, this is about to get interesting. Pokemon, 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 Magic School Bus. Transformers, definitely getting that. Two more Pokemon. Two turtles. These are all gonna be 50 cents a piece. Sweet. Uh, 
like this, I gotta get them. Just get them all. I'm only missing a couple of these Pokemon VHS tape. None of these are it. But I always get excited. Thinking maybe they could be. But I do sell but I do sell those in our antique mall, so they're fine to get anyways, especially that cheap. I found this thing too, and I think I'm gonna have to get it. I just don't know how I don't. It's a general electric portable tape player, but it also has a microphone and a variable speed control, which is awesome. Uh, there's a bit of corrosion, not in the battery compartment, but on the microphone, so I think I'm gonna get it. Take it home and play with it. Game room is a mess because not only do we have a bunch of toys that are like backlogged from before our trip, but also all that stuff we just bought. I'll try to get price tags on it now and get it out of our hair. So we have some room to do things. Now that's a shot right there. You see this? Little rubber duck on the side. What do you think? How much for the easy bake oven? Bought this on the road, haven't even checked what's in there. It was like two bucks, so I was like, bought, done. I feel like that's a $30 item. Uh, well, we gotta see what's inside. I mean, as long as really the oven's in there and a couple accessories, it's it's all right. It's, you know, we'll definitely flip it. It would be funny if I open it up and it's just nonsense. It's like an actual toaster. <laughs> <laughs> well, so far so good. There's the reach or enter. Hey! Some trays. Now we're gonna be grossed out that there's still cake mix in there. <laughs> that would be weird. There's lots of accessories. All right, well, there it is. It's plug. Rex, Simpsons dog. Two at once is pretty crazy. I mean, we just, we sell these so quickly. I've been tempted to uh, put a battery unit inside and replace these with, with really bright uh, RGB LEDs just to have one that's real crazy and keep it for my collection. Still might do that. Comment below, let me know if you'd like to see that. Because wouldn't it be really cool if that were just like brighter than the light that's already in the room? It'd take me 10 minutes to do. That'd be a really easy modification. And then we got a Furby, which is awesome. And it doesn't look like it's one I already have because it's a rolly boy. Yeah, we look good. That one looks like it's close, but that's not it. So... Another Furby on the shelf. I'm never mad about that. Actually, didn't I get two Furby today? Yeah, you did. Well, what, did, what did I do with the other one? Well, I got a Power Ranger and a Batman. So that's awesome. I didn't know when I picked this up if I had any Ninja Power Rangers on my shelf. And as far as I can tell, I don't. But my collection is getting a little ridiculous. I wouldn't be surprised if there's one buried in there. But at any rate, he'll go on the Power Ranger shelf. I don't collect Batman figures, at least not hardcore. They're about like Ninja Turtles for me, where they're, I'm really nostalgic for them, and I'd like to. But it's like this one. There's always a custom cape or wings or something that goes with it that I'd like to have. So you can see I've kind of got some tucked away that I'm not really that serious about. That I'd like to find the pieces for and maybe display, but that'd be something that if I did collect, I'd probably only collect like still in box ones, which besides Power Rangers, you know, I'm not really an in-box collector. But uh I do I do get pretty nostalgic for those specific Batman toys. The more elaborate the better. The ones I had when I was a kid that had the full wing suits and stuff. I always look for those at the thrift store, but I always find them, of course, without the wings. And I don't much care about them without the wings. And here's another Furby. I'm excited about this one, though I'm a little nervous because it's it's clearly something store-bought and not from McDonald's. Like the rest of these this size, all these other size Furbies. Hello, Pants. Are you digging in my toys? The rest of these little guys are all McDonald's, but this one isn't. This one is store-bought, so I hadn't really come across those. I have checklists for all these. I don't know what you are, but I'll do some Googling later. All that matters is he's a Furby. Now we've got to come up with clever ways to keep Woody's hat on. Tape it or something, because it matters. I guess I'll have to replace his battery too, but that's definitely got to go to the booth right now. The, pretty much all this plush and Toy Story stuff I bought this week will like pay my rent this weekend, so. I haven't worked really hard here in the game room for a yo-yo display yet, mostly because uh, my grandfather, when he died, he left behind a really huge, ridiculous 
collection of yo-yos that I haven't yet brought home, but I've been told I can bring them home uh, by my grandmother. Uh, and when I do, I'll build a display for them, but right now I've kind of just been like throwing them over here by the Sega collection. A couple in box, a couple loose ones, you know, yo-yos. I am pretty certain that I already have all of these VHS, but we're just going to double check. Can I help me double check these real quick? It would be a really nice surprise if I didn't have one of these VHS and finally added another one to my collection, but let's start with Fashion Victims. That sounds familiar, so I'm pretty sure I have it. Yeah, there it is. And Wake Up Snorlax. Yes. Uh, Primate Problems, I know we have that one. Jigglypuff Pop. This is about the only one I can imagine it's not having. We do have it. And then the Mystery of Mount Moon. We do have it. Okay, that's fine. I knew I knew we probably did, but we resell these really well, so those will go in the resale pile. Probably fine of the day. Kind of almost bummed I already have it, because that would have been a pretty killer deal. Uh, but I had it. I don't even remember where I got it. I'd have to go dig it into like our video archives to find a clip of where I got my copy of it. But I found one at the thrift, so let's go. Now I bought a stack of games today that uh, pretty much just bought because they were cheap. Um, but I want to make sure I don't have them in my collection. So that one will be going to my collection. Super Bubble Pop, don't have. Taz. We're adding games, baby. In the collection. I feel like I have this. Yeah, we already have that. So that'll go. That'll get priced with the rest of this stuff to go to our antique malls. NASCAR Unleashed, Goody, SmackDown vs. Raw. These wrestling games sell really well in our booths, so I grab them no matter what, but like, don't have it in the collection. Tony Hawk. And I get asked every time I show this app, uh, what is the app, and I keep links below this video you can go click on, but uh, it's called CLZ Games. I highly recommend it, though I do pay for it because it allows me to st store pictures. Most game collecting apps don't allow you to store pictures uh, unless unless you pay for them. But the reason I do it is because most gaming apps also don't really allow you to easily denote whether they're greatest hits, etc. They There are often fields to do it, but they're not super easy. So I, to keep my workflow while at the thrift store super quick, I keep photos of anything that's not a regular complete edition. I keep pictures in it. So whenever I go searching through all of my images here, I can just see, oh, look, that one... As I'm just scrolling past it, that one's greatest hits and I can keep moving. It's just a choice for my workflow. But that was a pretty good haul for today. All of those are going in my collection. Sweet. Now I gotta actually put them on my shelves, which with my current configuration in the game room, uh, pretty much every shelf is full. Cause like I'm, I, I just passed 700 PlayStation 2 games and it's pretty much a full shelf. Mm -hmm.